Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining the problem on boundary layer. So, let's get started. Now, here is the question. It is given, find the displacement thickness, momentum thickness and energy thickness for the velocity distribution in the boundary layer given by. Here, there is a velocity profile given, which is u upon u infinity is equal to y by delta, where u is the velocity, that is this small u is the velocity at a distance small y from the plate and u is equal to u infinity which is the maximum velocity at y is equal to delta which is the boundary layer thickness here where delta is the boundary layer thickness then also calculate the ratio of delta star upon theta where this delta star is the displacement thickness and theta is the momentum thickness so i'll write the delta for this problem Here we have to find the displacement thickness which is denoted by delta star. Next momentum thickness denoted by theta. Third we have to find energy thickness and the given velocity distribution is u by u infinity is equal to y by delta. Also, we have to find the ratio of displacement thickness to the momentum thickness. Now, quickly I'll explain what is the meaning of this problem. First of all, if there is a fixed plate, Now over this fixed plate a fluid would be flowing. The velocity of this flowing fluid is u infinity and when the fluid is flowing over this plate it is considered as here we have the laminar flow that is the fluid would be flowing in the form of layers. So it will get deposited on this fixed plate and the layer which would be in contact with this fixed plate the velocity of that layer would become zero because the plate is fixed having velocity as zero and then here we are going to get a profile which is called as the velocity profile so here at the bottom where we can say that from the fixed plate the distance is measured in the vertical direction that is distance y so at the fixed surface of the fixed plate the distance y is equal to 0 so y is equal to 0 at this surface and at that instant the velocity is equal to 0 because the plate is fixed then the moment we go on increasing the y distance then the velocity goes on increasing because these horizontal components are showing the velocity whereas the vertical component are showing the height of the layer and where we get the maximum height this is called as y is equal to delta that is the boundary layer thickness and at the boundary layer thickness where y is equal to delta the velocity is it is approximately equal to u infinity and this curve is an asymptote that is it is going towards infinity and this is the velocity profile for a laminar boundary layer and now for such condition we have to find out the displacement thickness that is by how much this boundary is displaced the momentum thickness which is used for the compensation of momentum because of boundary layer separation there would be losses then we have to find energy thickness and at the same time the ratio of displacement thickness and momentum thickness the velocity profile is given so I'll start with the solution part Now into the solution, first I will find displacement thickness. So 
so this is the formula for the displacement thickness it is denoted by delta star and it is equal to integral 0 to delta 1 minus u by u infinity now u by u infinity value or the velocity profile is given in the problem it is y by delta so replacing u by infinity with y by delta now this integral can be solved by using a shortcut method which I am showing here I am writing it with a different color pen 0 to delta we have to write the limits as 0 to 1 into the bracket 1 minus y by delta I am replacing it with x and that is with respect to dx now what I will do here is I am going to calculate this term in the calci that is no need to solve this integration by manually manual method you can just solve it by using a calci by a simple approach and that I am going to explain it over here so delta star would be here we have to simply use this calci and in that there is an integral sign as we can see here it is just adjacent to this cal c button so press that integration sign now in that integration sign first write this function which is 1 minus x so 1 minus an alpha and here we have x so close the bracket then we have to put the limits 0 to 1 so go back and put the limits 0 to 1 then press the equal to sign so the answer is coming out to be 1 by 2 it means since the answer is 1 by 2 and it is in the form of delta so I would be writing it as delta by 2 because whatever we are getting in the calci that is just the coefficient which is 1 by 2 we have to add delta here because the displacement thickness is in the form of delta which is the boundary layer thickness so that's the first answer Now after getting the displacement thickness, I will find the momentum thickness by using the same approach. Now momentum thickness is given by theta is equal to integral 0 to delta u by u infinity into bracket 1 minus u by u infinity dy so that's the formula for momentum thickness next again I would be replacing u by u infinity with y by delta now again the shortcut trick which I am showing here that is no need to solve it manually we can solve it in the calci by using this approach I am showing it with this red color pen we have to write the integration sign putting the limit 0 to 1 y by delta would be replaced by x then into bracket 1 minus again there is y by delta replaced by x so this has to be put in the calci I am writing here we have to use the calculator or use the calci over here so again I am explaining how to use that calci for that press this integration sign which is adjacent to the calci button then write the function over here which is x so here we have alpha and this is the closing bracket so alpha x then again into the bracket we have 1 minus x close the bracket then go back and put the limits which are 0 to 1 and then press the equal to sign so it gives me the answer as 1 by 6 so therefore I will say that the momentum thickness theta is equal to 1 by 6 this is the coefficient because momentum thickness would also be in the form of delta so it is delta by 6. 
so that's the second answer next i'll find the energy thickness it is given by the following formula So this is the formula of energy thickness that is integral 0 to delta u by u infinity into bracket 1 minus u by u infinity the whole square dy. Now I will replace u by u infinity with y by delta. So 1 minus it is u by u infinity square so that becomes y by delta square. Then again, I am showing that shortcut trick. No need to solve it manually. We can use the calci and get the answer in the shortest possible time. So, with this red pen, I am showing what we have to put in the calci. So, integration, then put the limits as 0 to 1. Replace y by delta with x. Here we have 1 minus. Again, y by delta whole square. So that is x square with respect to dx and this we have to put in the calci. So how to get that answer that I will explain by using the calci. First press this integral sign which is close to this calci button then put the function here which is x and that is given by here we have the closing bracket so press alpha and this closing bracket then again one more bracket we have 1 minus x square so alpha and the closing bracket giving the square to that term close the bracket go back and put the limits 0 to 1 press the equal to sign to get the answer it is 1 by 4 this 1 by 4 is the coefficient and we are going to get the energy thickness in the form of delta so that becomes delta by 4 remember whatever you are get, getting in the calci that is just the coefficient and you have to add delta at the end now that's the third answer when we look into the problem they have also asked us to find the ratio of delta star and theta that is energy thickness and momentum thickness so here i can say that since here we have delta star delta star is displacement thickness it is not energy thickness energy thickness it is delta suffix e and divided by theta momentum thickness now delta star value came out to be it was delta by 2 divided by momentum thickness came out to be delta by 6 so therefore delta by 2 when i convert this division into multiplication here we are going to have the reciprocal delta and delta would get cancelled out here we have 3 so therefore delta star by theta that is the ratio of displacement thickness and momentum thickness comes out to be 3 and this ratio is also called as the shape factor and that's the final answer so in short that was a problem regarding the boundary layer concept at the end if you will find my videos helpful you can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching